we're working more into the single leg balance, we're going to start with a kind of like what we call an airplane pivot. We're going to work that up to a full single leg balance with a, more of a single leg deadlift and then uh, the single leg clock excursion. Uh, main ideas with this is we're going to maintain that tripod again, even push your heel, base of the big toe, base of the little toe. And a lot of things whenever we're going back and forth, we want to make sure our knee is like kind of our uh, me and our foot are kind of facing in the same direction most of the time. So there'll be a little bit of anatomical variation with people, but as we go back and forth, we want to make sure that this thigh is kind of facing roughly the same direction of the foot, so we don't have too much of like an off angle going each way. So, first part we'll go over is uh, kind of the pivot airplane. So we'll be, we can use a little hand support if we need it. We start with this back toe down. We're just going to think of creasing into the hip and using this back side of the hip to kind of pull ourselves back out. And control back in as that knee stays in line with the foot as we go up and down over the tripod. We'll front rear on that. So if the knee's in line with the foot, think of that crease through the hip so we really feel a stretch across the back side of the leg as we kind of pivot up and down. Go back and forth. So we can use that back toe as a pivot point to begin. If we need to, we can put a little bit of a hand on something for a little bit of balance. After that gets uh, a little bit better, we can get this back leg up in the air and we can work on a full hip crease a little. We can usually do some office and hand support if you need it for a little bit of balance if we have trouble keeping the knee in line. Otherwise, we want to get this hand full free, crease into the hip, then raise back out. Each side, crease into the hip, raise back out. The front view, so I have this back foot off the ground. Everything stays in line, crease in, raise back out. Really focus on getting into the full motion of the inward hip full load stretch on the outside, and then they be able to pull back out of it as we go back and forth. As the knee stays in line with the foot. <clears throat> on top of that, if we can finally pull that off, we can, we can then brace to the single leg deadlift, which should be uh, staying on the one foot, straight back with the forward reach, really sitting back into the hip, and driving back out, almost like a runner pose at the top. Front back, side view. So if I'm staying on this foot, and I go forwards, It'd be forwards into here, nice straight back as I go into it. I want to really feel that crease into the hip because we want this most to be a leg exercise, not a back exercise, it's a leg exercise. If I start leaning forward to my back, my back's going to pick me back up. I want this to be more, think of like sitting, creasing to the hip, almost sitting back to the wall behind you a little bit to really feel it turn on. So into here, then drive through the foot and through the hip to come back out. Use the opposite arm forward with it. Back up to like a little runner pose, hold at the top as we go each way. So, so that would be the airplane to single leg deadlift progression. Um, on top of that, we're going to put a little of that single leg balance excursion. So as we stand on one foot on top of our tripod, we're going to think we're like in the middle of a clock. We're just going to see how much of a reach can we get with this foot forward going to 12 o'clock, then out to 11 o'clock, and out to 10 o'clock. You only have to go as long as it feels comfortable right now. About the 9, about the 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, back to 6, to 4 o'clock. Kind of an awkward reach, like big hip dip over to three. Then we can work over to two o'clock. Kind of got to get this leg a little more in front. Reach out to one, then back to 12. So we want to stay nice and centered on the foot. We don't want to be uh, falling too far forward onto the follow foot. Nice and centered, just as much as you can handle up and down without losing the balance. We just switch to the other side. Four to 12, out to one. Try to keep that knee roughly in line with the foot each time. So we can kind of lose our base a little bit, see how far we can go in every direction, and still get back to kind of home base, then across the front too, as we go each way. So that's a bit of the single leg balance progression. Those are the basics to start with. Eventually, we can add some extra uh, moves into it. If this if this guy is a little tough going each way, we can add like a little slider into it or something. Uh, if you're on a hardwood, if you're on a hardwood floor, a uh, piece of cloth, pull sock, something like that. So we can actually get a little extra support as we go in and out if we can't get too deep into it. So it's okay to add a little extra help going each way on top of this to kind of help us out get into it to make sure we get a, like a full depth excursion. Because if we can't get a loan up into it, it's okay to give us like a little crutch in the meantime to help us out. So uh, those are the basics of the single leg progression. Um, as always, note any side to side differences, right and left. Um, try and keep that knee roughly in line with the foot. Make sure we're feeling it through the hips and um, maintaining that foot tripod.